Bernard. St. Bernard. Hey, let's hear it for St. Bernard, Ohio. One of the major suburbs of St. Bernard is a little town called uh, Cincinnati, I think. Right? Yeah. And I, if I'm not mistaken, St. Bernard is maybe a little bit on the north side, is that correct? Of your suburb, Cincinnati. <laughs> Um, I want to bring special attention to the group you see walking here in front, the guard, the Spartan guard. They're going to be leaving this evening for Columbus for a national guard championship. And this particular group, I want you to know, came in first place Wednesday night at the, the camp. group as a whole, I want you to know, came in third place overall. And the drum major takes place first place in drum majors. Uh, this is an excellent group. They've been here, I believe, seven times over the course of some 21 years. Is that about right? And uh, they've been a a very faithful follower down here and have always done extremely well. We're always proud to have them here in St. Petersburg with us. And uh, looks like they're getting themselves pretty well organized. Uh, we were going over some listings last night and it was interesting to, to track the successes of the Roger Bacon Band through the years down here. I guess I talked too long, they're all sitting down. <laughs> okay, at this time I'd like to introduce band director Wes Neal, who's a super guy, great friend of St. Petersburg. Wes, it's all yours. Thank you very much. Uh, before we start, just to get an idea, how many are not from Ohio that are here today? Just so I get a, okay. There's, there's, we do have a few Floridians out there and so forth. Uh, the majority of you uh, have heard a lot of this music before. We do a lot of different things in Cincinnati conventions and we have a set program. And so uh, uh, 
most of the people out here are our followers, and uh, we're going to play some music, uh, hopefully, that uh, most of you have heard uh, before. The first number we played was a number called Land of a Thousand Dances, which is one of the numbers we play going into our football field all the time for our games because uh, we do a lot of dancing routines and things like that, and we like to keep our name up. Um, here's another number. We, we like to consider ourselves showmen, and this is called Broadway. do our contest show for you right now. It's, I feel a little strange because I know most of you have heard this music, but there's some of you who may have not been there last Wednesday night, and for those of you who were there, uh, you, to see our show, you have to see it two or three times to be able to see the whole show because it goes so quickly. Uh, the kids always say they don't remember half the things they do because it goes so fast. Um, we open up with a number called the, the theme from Spartacus, the ballet. Uh, we are called Spartans, and Spartacus was back in the days of the Roman. Here's Spartacus. Last Wednesday night was the last time you will have seen that show. This will be the last time that you will hear this whole group playing this number. And then, tribute to Duke Ellington.
Uh, I'd like to introduce our drum major, uh, Mr. Rodney Arcaro. Uh, as they said, he, he was the first place uh, drum major Wednesday night in the field competition. And uh, I, I always feel that, thank you. We have been very fortunate with drum majors uh, over the past few years. Uh, Rodney is the second one to win the field competition. Uh, and I always feel we kind of have a little bit of a, an unfair advantage on some of the other drum majors because you, you hear them called field commanders and, and today. We call ours a drum major, much as in the military sense of the word, because he actually runs the band. It is not one of those things where the audience shows up, all of a sudden it's stage time for him. He runs the rehearsals. Uh, he does most of the things that we are expected to do or I'm expected to do if I'm not there. Uh, he runs for performances uh, and everything. And so he is, in the strict sense of the word, a drum major. And when he took the field Wednesday night, he was secure in that. He's a senior this year. Uh, we, we pick our drum majors as sophomores. And of course, it always arranges that then when they're seniors, this is their trip down there and they get a shot to do things uh, and to be possibly first place. And uh, last time down, uh, Ray Grody missed out by uh, just one position. He was very close to doing it. Uh, Rodney teaches the kids an awful lot of things. There are two things that he does not teach them. And you can see how wise the band is because uh, this band is a band in the strictest sense of the word. They pick their performances. Uh, they run themselves. Uh, the buses were loaded by the band members. The uniforms were loaded by the band members, unloaded. They take care of all of these things. You see these large entourages of parents with the other bands. We don't have that. Our kids, this is their band, and it'd be very unfair for the parents to take those positions from them. And so they handle these things. But there are two things that Rodney uh, does not have control over the band, uh, and they sense that. Even the freshmen are very, very wise and do not follow Rodney in two particular areas. One is his haircut and clothing. Uh, right now he's praying very hard. We, we are a parochial school, and we have what we call a dean of discipline. Uh, in, in the public schools, I don't know if it's like this down here in the south, but in the north, we, they have policemen that patrol the hallways. But we have one man, his name is Mr. Grocer, and he's the dean of discipline. He doesn't patrol the hallways, he sits in his office, the kids do something bad, they just automatically go to him, because he knows they're going to catch up with him at them anyhow. And uh, Rodney got one of his latest haircuts with the, the thing down the side. They, they always try to tell you, well, the barber was nervous. I was nervous at the barber. He's got one of these haircuts and one of those deals. The other thing is, I'm very a stickler on being on time. And that is one of the other things that the band members do not watch Rodney for, is being on time. Uh, he, he has to be at all the performances, do all the different things, but he, he, uh, you have to give him a little leadway sometimes in like being on time. We left last Sunday, one of the pan parents was kind enough to make up cards that we could take home and put by the, the uh, clocks to tell us that we had to move our clocks up an hour because we were going to be leaving. And we had to be down at school. And um, I checked to see if everybody was on time, and everybody was on time except Rodney. And we, we automatically realized that Rodney was not going to be there. And then I waited the obvious hour, and I called him up, and I let the phone ring at least, honest, at least 30 times. Finally, Rodney got on the phone, and I explained to him that we were leaving within an hour and that it was now 10 o'clock. And he explained to me that all the clocks at his home were all screwed up because they were an hour behind. <laughs> so he, he is a leader to a certain extent, and then, then it shows how wise they can be. Of, you know, they were all there, but he wasn't. Uh, Rodney's going to direct us, and as you notice, we have no music. We, uh, we do our shows without music. We do so many things in Cincinnati if we were going to bring music stands and set things like that up, uh, it would take so much time and room, and that's what it's called slamming.
interesting microphone system. It doesn't go off and it doesn't turn around. Uh, I'd also